Hey tribe, and welcome to the HGDC HG Design to Crochet channel. I'm Heather, your host, and I'm 28 from the United Kingdom. If you are a returning viewer, hi guys, thank you for coming back. It's so lovely to see you. And if you're brand new, hi, hello, and welcome. So this is my channel all about crochet, knitting, and a general happy making life. Today I'm just going to do a normal update on my whips and where we are with them. Don't have any finished objects, but I'm close. Um, just a little bit of vlog admin, podcast admin. I want to say um, just another little thank you for helping us reach 500 subscribers. So the tribe is now 500 subscribers strong on YouTube, which is a pretty cool milestone. Um, I did my vlog, which I'll link up here, on reaching 500 subscribers as a little shout out because I wanted something to go out in real time. So it went out the day after we reached that milestone. Um, and in that, I just touched upon the fact that there's gonna be giveaways so I'm going to Yarndale September 29th and I'm going to pick up the prizes for a YouTube giveaway and a Patreon only giveaway um, as a way of, of saying thank you um, for showing me so much support. And then I'm also going to be releasing some merchandise. So I want to do some little badges, little button badges, mainly to go on project bags. Um, and there's gonna be a couple of designs for those. And I just really, really want like t-shirts, bags, and things that just say tribe. Like like I said in my in my video, kind of like gang culture. Like I wanna feel like I belong somewhere. Um, and I don't know if any of you want it or not. If you don't, then fine. But if you do, comment below so that I know what interest there is. Um, I really want I really, really want like um, a tote bag that says Tribe on it, and I would really, really like a white tee, a white t-shirt that says Tribe. Um, so I'm gonna look into all of that. That is coming. That is on its way. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the badges first and work our way up. I'd like to do enamel pins as well. Um, then what else? I did a few shout outs. Um, so I did a shout out to Kalisha who has her own vlog, um, because she's such an amazing cheerleader for the community. She is um, always shouting out other makers that are of ethnic minorities, which is really nice because I then get to connect with other people with a similar heritage. Um, I'm dual heritage, so I'm half white, half black, so I straddle both. <laughs> that sounds dodgy. I'm in the middle of both, um, and I, I just like to see all influences from all different directions. Um, then I also did a shout out to my brother, Mitchell. He's Mitchell Griffith Racing because he gave me the push to jump back on this bandwagon um, back in January. And then I went to Edinburgh Yarn Festival in March and that was my real big push for me then to really want this to take off. Um, so thank you for that bro, we regularly like send each other screenshots of our stats on YouTube, like look at my channel, look at my channel, this is my goal, and I really, I find that really really useful, really really helpful, and it helps keep me accountable, so we've set our September goals, and we are both hustling towards them, so thank you bro, um, I also want to do a shout out to Raquel, she helps me with photography and just general creative muse, so that's great. Thank you, sis, loving that. I wanna do a shout out to my cousin, Chantel, because no matter where we are, even before I even started all of this YouTube, she always encouraged me to be myself, to be my true self. And if I wanted to sit and crochet and sit and knit, then she's quite happy with that. So she truly is a day one supporter. So thank you, cousin. Um, and I want to do a shout out to the rest of you guys. I should do one to Darcy who is in the background scratching right now because he's always there when I'm crocheting. Um, and he always adds his own little bit of fluff in it, his own bit of love. And I want to do a shout out to 
arty. My let's go with my other half. <laughs> we don't really have a label. Um, although I know it annoys him how much I crochet. He definitely helps out with um, the creative muse. He does give me some really good ideas. Um, he's modelled for a couple things. I'm still waiting for more pictures. Um, he does support my yarn habit. And although I know that he'd prefer that he got more attention than crochet, he knows crochet is life. So thank you, Baba, for being so great. Um, and then I just want to do a shout out to you guys because without you lot, this channel wouldn't be growing. Without you lot, I wouldn't have like the increase in courage to be more myself and to really push forward with my plans. And you best believe I've got so many plans and it's really nice to see them sort of coming to life now. So that's all my shout outs for now. Um, there's been loads of you along the way. There are my regular commenters. Um, there's Tyrion, there's Shardine, there's Renee Crochet, there's so many I'm probably gonna have to do like a banner under here but everybody that regularly comments thank you so much I love connecting with you all um, and yeah just thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you let's do crochet that's what you're here for right so 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 far I've just been sewing on the sleeve um, and I need to sew part of the front panel together I'm really, really pleased with this. So rather than the granny square back, it's got the, what's this, granny stripe back. And I've done that in rows. Can you see? And this is using the HGDC scrap wool challenge. So this was all of, this was not all of, this is a lot of my scrap yarn, which I've then done um, this panel out of, and I've gone around it in the main body coil color, gray. Though, if you was really out there, you could definitely make this entire thing out of scraps. And I think that would look majorly cool. Um, and I've decided that I was gonna do my body in gray. So I've just used some pound shop, um, I think it was Pound World, one of them that went into administration, I got all of this yarn, um, it was like 80 pence a ball or something. And I bought like 12 balls of gray. So, as I said, I've gone round the back panel in grey. I've done the front panels and the striped this time as opposed to the granny rectangle I did on enamoured. Um, so there is one of them in situ. I haven't sewn my ends in because this is a working version um, and it's quite likely there's gonna be some tweaks. So I um, leave the ends out in case I need to take it apart which with enamoured got that was taken apart three times so um it's not me being lazy for once and then the sleeve the first sleeve is on so well like enamoured i've done the cuff and i've put the um hgdc scrap ball challenge for three stripes there but then the main body is in gray and rather than enamoured where it had this amazing cuff detail, uh, sorry, sleeve detail here in all the different colour stripes that was in the square, I decided to go with patches, which was Artie's idea. So it's got elbow patches. Um, I'm not gonna lie, the ends on that were horrific, but I sat down with, I think it was the Lottie and Albert podcast and they were done. Um, and actually it was quite nice to, to no, it wasn't a podcast, it was definitely something audio. I listened to an audio podcast and it was quite nice to sew ends in whilst listening to something audio because I didn't have to keep looking up and I could just concentrate and get on with it. So the next seam that I need to sew is across the um, shoulder seam yoke uh, across there and then I'm gonna have to put on the other arm and the other front panel um, and give it a try with I don't know how but with this I try the sleeves match enamored but when I try it on they seem too small so maybe my arms grow but what I'm gonna do is sew up this seam to see how much I get out of it um, the only thing I think I will do is I'm probably gonna take it off and reposition because I feel like the elbow patches aren't sitting right 
and I've got a sneaky, sneaky feeling that I'm going to have to redo the entire sleeve and move the patch over because I've put it central. Let me just get redressed. Ugh, I move some hair out of the way. So I've made the elbow patch. That's better. Um, let's see if we can find the other one. I'm rolling around in here. Okay, so this is the other one that I've not sewn the ends in on. Can you see what I mean by nightmare? Um, and I've put the elbow patch in the centre, which is fine if you are wearing um, the sleeve. So it should be positioned like that. But the way I have to sew the sleeve on it's sitting like that so I'm gonna have to rework the sleeves and put put this jumper back on again maybe I should just pull the sleeves up god damn um I'm gonna have to rework the sleeve and put this effect further over there so that once when it's sewn on it sits, this actual elbow patch will sit where I want it as opposed to at the moment it's sitting on top of my arm. Um, so yeah, slight design flaw. But it's okay, they didn't take that long to work up. And I haven't um, sewn the ends in on this one. So this one, I can just rip back and put the elbow patch over here. So I've put it central and there's three clusters either side but I'm going to make it so there's just one cluster and then I'm going to have to make the other one mirrored so that there's a left and a right and then make sure I just sew it up correctly. So a little bit frustrated because I felt like I'd made loads of progress and then I tried it on and realised that it needs tweaking. Um, but what do you think so far? I've got half a cardigan. Half a cardigan. Um, and don't worry, I've not forgotten that some people would prefer the stripes to go that away. So I will make sure that in the pattern I give instructions for it to go that way. Um, which actually, I that looks really good. So that needs a name. It needs the sleeves tweaking. Um, and really... I should have been working on enamoured and not this, but I sort of got carried away with the sleeves. Um, but that is getting put to one side because enamoured is the focus to get put out in the world in the next few days. So I think when you see an update in maybe two weeks time, towards the end of September basically, that will probably be near completion. Um, I'm working on enamoured, but as I said, I'm not going to show you what I've done to improve that so far. It's going to have a grand reveal, but there is the back panel, which I love. Um, I think I've said everything I need to say on that, other than the pattern's coming soon. Um, and there's going to be a discount code on Patreon. I think I've decided that the patterns are going to be £4.95. Um, and then Patreon, you pay $3, which I think is like £2.50 or something. So I'm probably going to put another code that you get another pound or whatever off. Um, I just need to clarify my math, sit down and work it all out. But I think in effect you'll probably put like a pound towards the pattern to buy it. So enamoured will cost you a pound Patreons, patrons. Um, if you want to go sign up to my Patreon, you can sign up at any time. It's pretty cool because there's not that many of us at the moment. I'm actually getting to know those that are there, which is really nice. So if you want to jump in on that, head over to Patreon. It's linked below. Um, then I'm working on a birthday present. So if you watched my flash stash, stash my flash, last week I went through all of this tower and hidden project bags 
and I rediscovered a couple of projects. Actually, I rediscovered about four, but there's two that I want to work on, and one of them I decided is going to be a blanket. Um, and I know I don't need any more blankets, but it's not for me. So my niece is three in a week's time, and I decided I'm going to make her something, and I've given myself a week. Nothing like deadline makes when you've got other deadline makes. <laughs> Um, and I, when I was going through a project bag, I rediscovered my Just Because squares. I don't know if any of you remember that blanket. I started making it maybe early January and it was going to be a blanket purely for me, for my room, just because I wanted a bright pink blanket. However, once I um, had got part way through that, I kind of changed my mind and realised I don't need any more blankets and I want to make garments and that's where this came through and da 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 da, here we are. So I've got these squares left over. Now there was 17 of them, but I decided to do like five different designs. But the one I'm going with is the is these ones. So they've got the block center and then they've got the candy floss pink around the outside. I'm sat really far away today, so I have to keep leaning forward. Um, but that one's got a solid, just um, standard pink. This one's glitter pink. You see it here. Yeah. This one is glitter white. This one's baby yellow. That's looking lilac when I come up close. It's candy floss pink. And this one is lilac in the center and then pink. So I've got one, two, three, four, five of them. I think I decided I needed nine of them to make a blanket. So I've got these ones. That's better. Candy floss pink. Um, which is this Stylecraft candy floss pink. Let me just stand up again. 100% acrylic, candy floss pink. Um, I've got a 100 gram ball of that left and I need to do another four squares I think I decided. No, I definitely didn't decide that. I don't remember how many I'm doing. Did I go for nine? I took a picture of it so I'll be able to have a look. Um, but here's some more of the centres that I'm doing. So I've got this neutral white, well, off-white. I've got glitter lilac and I've got a brighter yellow. And also, I've got Barbie pink, neon pink, and this bright coral. So all of those are going in there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and there's one more up there, twelve. So I've decided to do twelve squares. I've got five completed. Oh good gosh. So I need to complete seven squares. I've got one more centre to, to do, then the pinks to go around, and then I want to join it. Um this is where I'm not sure. I don't want to buy more yarn because I've got all of this and when I did my stash, I realised how much I've got that's unused. But I don't, because I've got quite a lot of single skeins, I don't have a lot that I can join it with. Um, so I found this, rediscovered all of this. It, it's the neutral. It's just gonna blow out horribly. It's just an off-white DK, um, so I was thinking I could join with that. And then I've also got a few balls of this pink, which was supposed to finish my last spot blanket, but I'm not gonna make it much bigger. So I've got this bright pink. So I was thinking of, in some way, joining with these three. Come on, lighting. There we go. If I get my head out, it seems happy. Does that help? 
I mean that that isn't that bright but yeah you get the drift so that needs finishing and I'm either gonna have to drive it up to her or post it so it needs to be done hella quick um, and that's gonna be her little birthday blanket if anybody wants the pattern for that when it's done it's just gonna be a freebie I think I'm gonna put it on Patreon first, you don't get it for 30 days and then I'm going to put it elsewhere. Um, just a dead simple, really cute simple pattern. I think it's going to look really good when they're all put together and at least I've used a part of a project. Um, so they're my current whips and they're all deadline ones which is taking a little bit of fun out of crochet right now. But I'm really looking forward to getting the patterns out to you. And I do really want my niece to have something handmade for her birthday. So let's just get this next week or so out of the way. And then it'll be a lot more, I feel a lot more in the flow and creative as opposed to, I need to get this done. Um, today I'm going to a vegan festival, so I'm recording quite early, which is why I have the light on. And yeah, lighting issues. Um, but that's crochet time in the car. I was gonna take the sleeves for my Tempe jumper, but actually I think I might take these centers and go around them. Or I should really take the sleeves for enamored, but because there's so much yarn involved, I kinda wanna be stationary for that. So, but yes, lots of car crochet time today. Um, and I've got a few other projects ongoing in the background which are just there but I'm going to wait to show you in a separate vlog. So I'm going to sign off now, get my breakfast, get ready for this vegan little festival um, and hopefully you will see, well I've already seen my shout outs on Instagram for testers. I want a tester for um, the three sizes that I'm going to put out there. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. I'm gonna go get some breakfast and wake up properly. <laughs> and I will probably take some footage at the festival. So if I have, it'll be put in after this. So have a great week. Um, I hope to see you around on my social media, Instagram, Patreon, Twitter, Facebook. I'm at HG Designs on everything apart from Twitter. I'm HG Designs Crow, C-R-O. Um, so go check it out, come say hi. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Happy making!